action. This is how to make a, a little hand with wire and paper tape for a Palmer clay doll that's about 10 inches tall. So this is um, 26 to 24 gauge wire and first thing you want to do is cut a cut a long piece. You make a little lump right over your finger. Make a second little lump just like that. Then you smash them together. And then you take this and you stick it in the bottom loop and pull. Then you take this piece flip it over the top and pull and see how they overlap here for the these are actually going to be fingers each and every one of them so you want to turn it just so they're not overlapping now and this is going to be your thumb so your next step is to put a little tiny piece of paper tape on it this is so easy peasy the sculpting is the hard part <laughs> okay Right here, I'm making the palm of the hand right now. And what's great about paper tape, no matter how you get it on there, you can smash it down and make it conform to the shape that you want it to be. Okay, and this is going to be the wrist. There's the thumb. And you basically got the same thing as I've got here. One's a little different, but hey, we'll just move it closer together and it'll look the same. Now we want to cut any pair of cutters are going to work and you straighten out the arms, the fingers rather. Like a witch's broom. <laughs> and don't cut too much off the first time. Okay, and you're going to look like that's stage two. We're going to back and make this one another finished version of that. Try to separate them as much as you can because we've got to pose them. They're going to look like that when we're finished. Hopefully. <laughs> Believe me, it's not going to happen on your first try. You may do this three or four times before you make it look like a little hand. They look like claws for a while. Okay, and here's the end result. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut them a little bit at a time and shape them. Remember this is your longest finger right here. This is your baby finger and here's your pointer. A little shorter, thumbs a little shorter. Okay, put those out of the way. I like a clean area. Okay, here's what I'm working towards. Now, no matter which side you do these at, if you just keep doing them on one direction, they're reversible. Flip them over, you got the right or the left. Okay, now you want to shape them to where they have a little bend where the first knuckle is going to be and then the second knuckle you can see where we're going to have some cut cutting to do okay a little more remember where that second knuckle is and you just got a little bit on the end of it thumb, put his paper tape back in a little bit more, and thumb is bent, see, knuckle, knuckle, nail bed, so you got knuckle, knuckle, nail bed, so you're going to nip off the end where the nail bed is, and you have an armature for a hand. That's a bigger hand. This is a tiny one. 
So all you have to do now is, I mean, I overdo it. I cook these things in the oven at uh, 280 degrees for about 15 minutes to get the wax. The wax kind of melts off this and the, sometimes the paper tape will discolor, but that's no big deal. S squirt it with a little teeny bit of white spray paint and voila, you got the armature that you need. The next step is putting the clay on. 